Now, the danger of mutual funds, I'm going to go down and point, pinpoint in three, like a, three major issues. Three major issues I call the danger of mutual funds. One is excessive fees. Just like Mr. Benner, the founder of the 401k, he's, he says 401k plans are way too expensive. Okay? Number two, the natural volatility. The market goes up and goes down. Okay? And it happens. So like, you know, we talked earlier, for one out of ten people, they're okay with the natural volatility if it goes up. I think the other nine, nine out of ten people, they don't want to be involved in that system. Number three is the intentional volatility. I'm sure some of you would agree that there's people out there that want the market to go up and down. If you haven't heard that, there's, you know, when the 2008 market crash, did you, I can't remember the gentleman's name, but he, he actually shorted the, the, the market. And when the, when the market crashed, he made $20 billion or something. So it's crazy. <laughs> I'm just telling you. you know, how many of you have access to that information? No, right? So that's an inside game. So someone wins, others get hurt. So those are the three major issues that I would say the dangers of mutual, fu mutual funds in a 401k plan. Again, excessive fees, natural volatility, and three, which we're starting to see more and more, it's being more and more exposed, is intentional volatility. I think most of us in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, we trusted the system, and I think it was more fair. So when people bought stocks in the 1940s, you know, you remember they were buying a stock into a company, IBM, Ford, because they believed in that company, General right? Motors. Does that make sense? Or General Motors or whatever it is, they actually bought something. When people are buying mutual funds right now, do they know what they're buying? No. no. Have no it's a sexy name, right? You know, the European Growth Fund or the Oil Generating Revenue Fund. Sexy names, but we don't, really don't know what you're investing on. Buying a basket of stocks. A basket of stocks, that's basically what mutual funds are. Now, they call, they call it uh, diversification, <laughs> right? Yeah. But really, at the end of the day, do you know what it is? You get to lose money in more places. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. You get right. Spread the wealth. Okay. Um, let me go on to excessive fees. The typical, the typical mutual fund in a 401k plan, they've done the studies over and over, charges about 3% in fees. Now, I always have a client, I always have an agent, a variable agent that says, oh, no, 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 it's, it's you know, I, I look in the prospectus and it's only, that, that fund is only half a percent <laughs> or 1%. Or you can go to the, you know, um, what is that, msn.com or what, uh, what, what's that, Morningstar, morningstar.com, and you can look at the cost of that fund. It could be 0.75 basis points or whatever it is. Now, that's the fee that they charge on that fund, but is it all the fees? No, no. Oh, no, no, no. There's a lot of back-end fees that they don't tell you about. 12B1 fees, marketing fees, legal fees, trustee fees, uh, transactional fees. There's a whole bunch of fees in the back-end, and on average, they total about 3% of fees. There's eight different fees in the mutual fund. Actually, they've calculated a bit more. It's up to 15. 15 different fees in a mutual fund. Is that what I signed up for? No. I did not sign up for that. Did your, your client sign up for that? No. Did 90% of Americans in a 401k plan sign up for that? I don't think so. And I'm here to challenge that, and I'm here to expose that, and that's what we're doing. Before we can change, we have to admit that there's a problem. And we need to show the employers of America and the employees of America we got a problem. Okay, so let's talk about these this zero to three percent in fees. So if, if you had a, a formula, I'm going to show. Okay, let's go back. If you had fifty thousand dollars over twenty years and it just grew at seven percent compound each year, how much would you have? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take away one percent in fees, so that means it grew at six percent per year, right? And we're going to take away 2%, which grew at 5% and 4%. So let's take a look at how that much eats up your fees. So if you had $50,000 over 30 years, excuse me, if you had $50,000 and grew over 30 years, and it grew at 7%, you would have $811,000. Nice, nice. But if you take away just 1% in fees, that would eat up 26% of your account or 
$209,000. Just 1%. And we all agree already that it's more than 1%. If you take away 2% in fees over 30 years, that it can eat a 45% of your account, which translates to $365,000. 3%, which is the average, will eat up 59%, almost 60% of your actual cash dollars, which is $418,000. So now you, now you guys know why people on Wall Street are driving around in Bentleys, <laughs> Armani suits, and so forth. 3% by billions of dollars and billions of dollars is a lot of money. Does that make sense? So all of our clients are paying for this. They're getting taken advantage of. I like the option where they have no fees in a 401k plan, and that's what we're proposing with the Green Line 401k. Okay, so you guys, any questions on the fees? Does that, just simple math. And that's what I hope you guys would do with your clients and your, your employers and so forth. Just show them the numbers. Let the numbers speak for themselves, right? So that's what we're doing. We're, we're going to be like a prosecutor. How many of you guys watch SVUs? You know, you're going to be like a prosecutor out there making the case against mutual funds. Hi, this is Alvin Parr and thanks for watching. If you want more information on the Green Line 401k, click on the link on this video.